Okay, time is up. Okay, hello, welcome back. Is everybody back from taking the quiz? Okay. okay yes, yes, okay, thank you for responding. Um, if you have any questions, make sure you use the Q&A um, function on the bottom. Um, you can stop me at any time to ask questions, or you could use the chat to ask me any questions. So we're going to start with C1 module. First, let's take a look at the segment guide. Okay. Okay, let's take a look at the segment guide right here. C1, par, and birdie. Okay. So first, let's take a look at the objectives right here. So for C1 is skill-based. So first, um, it's to develop um, academic language skills for knowledge acquisition and critical expression and also to nurture critical thinking through analysis and evaluation of content and to enhance topic knowledge through terminology and knowledge maps, okay? So C1 is skill-based, so they're going to be um, doing reading and listening every week, okay? So when they're doing reading and listening, um, they're going to, on the same topic, and they're going to be identifying um, main ideas, um, topic, thesis statement, main idea, main deta major details and minor details okay and they're going to be doing a small project a mini project they will only spend about 10 minutes and then they're going to do a um, speaking or writing um, at the end um, writing will be on odd weeks and speaking will be on even weeks so they're going to do speaking and writing every other week okay um, um, here, reading and listening uh, focus on all fundamental skills, including identification of topic, thesis, main ideas, major details. Okay, and then this is the class structure. So they will do topic connect. This is where you're going to generate interest about the topic. They're going to do reading, activate. They're going to go over six words that will appear in the reading passage. They're going to skim uh, the passage and then they're going to summarize, and then they're going to scan, answering some comprehension questions about the reading passage. And then I think this part is very important. Um, they're going to facil uh, facilitate some discussion. And listening, same thing, activate. They're going to preview six words that will appear in the listening passage. They're going to um, comprehend uh, the listening passage, um, identifying the thesis, main ideas, and major details. And for listening, um, they're going to learn how to take notes using abbreviations and symbols. And for scan, same thing as reading, they're going to answer some comprehension questions. And they will do a small project, about 10 minutes, and then they will do writing, odd weeks, and then here, and then they're going to do speaking, even weeks. Okay, you're going to spend about last 40 minutes doing the writing or speaking. Okay, and then you're going to wrap up um, about five minutes at the end, showing the knowledge map, the connection between reading and listening passages. Okay, so let's take a look at So we're going to take a look at the SIG right here. Um, so as I said, we're going to spend about 10 minutes, connect, activate. Okay, so here, this is the topic connect component. There is a cover page and then same thing as C2, and then we will move on to uh, the topic connect. So here, what you're going to do is very similar to C2. You're going to, the main purpose of this page is to generate student interest uh, by using this image and this chart. 
Okay, um, same thing with C2, this chart, some of these words are a little bit difficult for birdie students or par students. So when you're prepping, I think it's important that you guys uh, pick and choose uh, what you want to go over and also to figure out what the purpose of this chart is. Okay, um, so ambient characteristics and ambient technologies. So we're going to go over some characteristics that smart technology um, has and also uh, some examples of smart technology. So I think it's important that you guys prepare some images. Um, for use. Okay, so right here, images right here. Um, so you could pull up and then have them um, elicit definition of each word and then how they could um, maybe confirm by having students give you examples, okay? And then on the bottom, there is a question, um, what do you think smart technology is capable of? And it gives you five options right here, detect and put out fire, uh, change room temperature, and et cetera. Um, so here you're going to go over each answer choice and have them choose maybe a couple. Uh, if you tell them to choose any, um, they will not even bother to read each answer choice and just pick anything. So I think if you give them like a limit, um, you, guys, you guys get to choose two or three only, then they will spend a little more time reading each answer choice. Um, and then you're going to use SRS system, uh, SRS student response system um, to check what they have um, chosen. And then um, you're going to have them share um, and then have them give you some examples, okay? Um, so, do housework. Maybe they will talk about Roomba, um, the vacuum that goes around the house automatically and cleans the house um, and have them, uh, you could ask them, you know, does anybody have a Roomba? And then um, you guys can have a small discussion on smart technology and what it is capable of. You're only going to spend 10 minutes, just be aware um, of the time limit that you have for this page and you don't want to talk too much about smart technology, give away too much, because um, you will spend um, some time doing reading and listening passages. Okay, after the topic connect, you're going to move on to um, the reading component. The first component of the reading is activate. Okay, so you want to activate them. Um, it will show six words that will appear in the reading passage. Okay, and then, um, so you're going to preview the words so that they will have a better understanding of the reading passage. Um, for each uh, word, you're going to prepare an image. Okay, I will show you. The smart textbook version of it. So right here on activate, you're going to, um, this is, uh, these are the words and these are called collocations, okay? So I think when you're prepping, um, the bold ones are the words and then unbolded ones are the um, collocation words. So ambient noise. Um, this is the image that I prepared for um, ambient noise. So um, I think, you have to apply the show and don't tell methodology for this component. You're going to show, you're going to elicit, but you're not going to tell them the definition of ambient. Let's do an example here. So this is the image. So um, when I'm prepping, um, I'm going to try to elicit everywhere um, from students. So I'm going to construct my leading questions um, so that at the end they could say everywhere. So what do you see in this picture? Uh, what is the person doing? Uh, watching a movie, eating popcorn, okay? Uh, where do you see the speakers? Okay, um, it is everywhere. Okay. And so do you think that um, he will hear the sound from anywhere in the room? And they will say, yes. Okay, what if he's in the corner of the room? He will hear it, why? because the speakers are everywhere. So where is the sound? It is everywhere. And then once you elicit the um, synonym or easier definition, you're going to confirm, you're going to actually use the word in a sentence, oh, so the sound is ambient. And you're going to confirm by asking, so what do you think ambient means? 
and hopefully they will say everywhere. And then you could ask them some examples, uh, maybe ambient light, okay, and um, have them give you some examples to confirm their understanding of the word. Okay, automation. Um, when I'm prepping, I'm going to try to elicit um, by itself. Okay, so factory automation. Here's an example. What do you see? It's a factory. What are they making? They're making cars. Who's making cars? Robots. And then, so how are they making cars? Who's telling them they're working by itself or they're making cars by itself? Ah, so this is automation. So what do you think automation means? By itself. And then um, maybe we could talk about a department store, the, the automate, uh, automated doors um, and how do they open by itself, okay? So you want to um, prepare an easier synonym or easier definition or synonym to elicit from students and then um, prepare an image, okay? And then um, you want them to tell you the definition and confirm their um, definition. So you're going to do the same thing with um, these six words, okay? So that's activate. Now we're going to move on to skim page. In the beginning of the term, you're going to spend, it says to spend about five minutes on the skim page, but you're going to spend um, a little bit longer, maybe about 15 minutes um, on this component, skim component. The reason is because you have to introduce um, something called Changdan Pizza. Um, and you're going to teach them how to identify um, main ideas. So I will show you on this page. This is the reading passage. This is what they, this is what they see on their smart textbook. Okay, so first you want to um, explain what a topic is. Okay, and so um, a topic is what the whole passage is about. How do we find the topic? Okay, we're going to look at the title and then we're going to find a repeated words. Okay, in the first paragraph. And then second um, skill that you want to go over is a thesis statement. Okay, thesis statement. What is a thesis statement? Thesis statement supports the topic and it is the main idea of the whole passage. It's the author's opinion about the topic. Um, and so how do we find the thesis statement? Okay, so you're going to go over what a topic is, what a thesis statement is, and what main ideas are, and how to find um, each skill. So um, for thesis statement, you're going to find transition word. You're going to find uh, a sentence that includes a topic and the sentence that expresses the author's opinion about the topic, okay? And then main ideas. What are main ideas? Main ideas support the thesis statement, and we could find the main idea by looking for uh, transition words, okay? Like one place or also, okay? And so you're going to introduce each skill. On skim page, you're going to help students to find three things topic, thesis statement, and main ideas, okay? And then once you go over the skills, um, you're going to have them find each um, topic, thesis statement, main ideas um, on their own. And you're going to help them, and then you're going to check their answers, okay? So let's do... here. So first, topic. What is a topic? Let's first take a look at the title. Smart technology in our lives, okay? And we need to look for a topic. That means we need to look for repeated words. What is most repeated? Uh, what word is repeated in the first paragraph? You're going to give them about 20 seconds, and then you're going to have them find. You could use the capture function Okay, to view their answers. 
Um, for this passage, they might choose computers right here, computer, computer. However, um, how you can, so when you're prepping, you need to maybe predict uh, what word they will choose and computer is not the topic because it's only an example of smart technology. Um, the topic is ambient intelligence right here. Okay, and then ambient intelligence, ambient intelligence. And also you have to go over pronouns here. Okay, so we can see it, but it refers to ambient intelligence. Okay, um, so when you're prepping, uh, make sure you guys um, point out these pronouns also that will refer to the topic. Okay. And then once they identify the topic, you're going to give them about 30 seconds. Okay, now that we uh, have the topic, let's go to the thesis statement. What is a thesis statement? Author's opinion. Okay, just refresh their memory. How do we find transition work in a sentence that has the topic? So that's why it's important that you guys go over this pronoun it because the thesis statement is this sentence. Okay, so you're going to give them about 30 seconds to find the thesis statement. Um, you're going to, um, in the beginning of the term, um, give them a lot of gui guidance and um, help because it's their first time maybe um, identifying the topic, thesis statement, main ideas. So you're going to give them a lot of help and clues. Um, so you could even tell them, oh, there is a transition word and a sentence that includes the topic. Okay, so you could eliminate maybe the sentences before this. Oh, we just have to look at one, two, three sentences. Okay, so which one do you think the thesis statement is and why? Okay, so once they identify the thesis statement, um, always remember to ask them to justify why. Why do you think this is a thesis statement? It has a transition word, it has a topic teacher, and it says in different places, teacher, I think this is the author's opinion about the topic, okay? So always, always have them justify their answers, okay? So once they found the thesis statement, you're going to have them identify the main ideas, okay? Uh, main ideas support the thesis statement. So you're going to elicit WH questions about the thesis statement. So we can see ambient intelligence in many different places in our lives. Okay, what do you want to ask? What do you want to um, know more about the thesis statement? If it says different places, uh, what do you want to ask? Maybe you want to elicit where, teacher? What places? Okay, so now you're going to look for main idea um, that will answer where or what place. So you're going to use the WH question to help students find the main ideas. Okay, so you could even tell them um, there are two main ideas. So let's look for two places. Okay, and then you could give them one minute, okay, in paragraph two, in paragraph three, let's look for a main idea in each paragraph, okay? And a lot of students will underline the first sentence because it says Gates home, okay? But that's only uh, one person's house, so you have to redirect them. Um, so one place is a transition word right here. Ambient intelligence, where? in our homes, okay? And then make sure you have them annotate, okay? They're going to have a workbook, so make sure you have them open up their workbook and they're annotating in their workbook, okay? And then you could ask them, where is the second place we could see uh, ambient intelligence, okay? And they could say right here, uh, we can also, there's another transition word, also means what, number two, Okay. And some students will say at work, okay, but it says look forward to seeing it at work in the smart classroom, okay? So when you're prepping, just be aware of uh, the confusion 
that this sentence might cause um, because students will see that this is at work, okay? But it's, you know, working in the smart textbook. So you're going to circle transition words, underline, okay? And then have them annotate main idea number two and smart classroom. Okay, so I think it's important that instructors also annotate so that students are encouraged to annotate in their workbook. Okay, so once you found the topic, thesis statement and main ideas, you're going to move on to the next page. Next page component is summarize. Okay, so you're going to, um, on this page, what you're going to do is you're going to go over the hierarchy of the ideas. Okay, so we have the thesis statement and it goes in, it goes in more. What does that mean? Okay, this supports the thesis statement and we have main idea one and two. Okay, and then we have major details. So first go over the hierarchy and the logical connection between the ideas. And then you're going to, again, use WH questions to help them find the major details. In order to do that, you have to know the answers. Okay, so you're going to elicit, it says that we can see ambient intelligence in our homes, then what do you want to ask? Okay, oh, what ambient intelligence can we see? Okay. Uh, one and two. Okay, so you're going to find the types of ambient intelligence that you will see in our homes. Okay, it says current system and future system. So you guys can even mention something that we could see it now and something that we could see it in the future to help them. Um, and then as the term goes on, you're going to give them less and less guidance to find uh, the major details or any ideas. So you're going to do the same thing for main idea number two, okay? It lists the WH questions. Okay, um, what will be the WH question here? What number one, what number two? What ambient intelligence can we see in classroom? And you're going to have them use the dual screen, okay? So that they have the passage on top and this page on the bottom to find the answer and to type in the answers. Okay, uh, once the time is up, you're going to give them about two, three minutes to find. Once the time is up, you're going to use SRS to view their answers and to go over and don't forget to have them justify why, okay? And when you're prepping, I think it's important that you guys notice the um, transition words, okay? So if we go back here, it says, um, Uh, for example, and also here one example is electronic di displays. And then another example, transition word is another example for the second right here, another example. Okay, so when you're helping them to find major details, you could tell them um, these transition words, ah, oh, look for one and look for another. Another means what? Second, to help them find the major details. And this will happen only in the beginning of the terms, okay? And then you're going to give them less gui uh, guidance. So once they have found the topic, thesis statement, main ideas, and major details, they should have a pretty good understanding of the passage. So now you're going to um, have students answer these comprehension questions. You guys can, um, in the beginning of the term, do the first question together using the dual screen. Um, they're able to look at the passage to answer these questions. Um, so use the dual screen, um, help them how to find. These are mostly factual question type um, in, remember in A2. So you guys can identify the keyword in the question and locate the keyword to find the answer. Okay, so you guys can definitely do the first question together to show them how to find the answer and let them do the rest um, questions on their own. And you're going to use um, SRS to um, check their answers and have them justify why. And on the bottom, we have these full cap questions. 
Um, so I think when you're prepping, it is important to find the context clue, um, clues in the passage or um, in the sentence, surrounding sentences. Um, and then do the first question together. This is how you're going to answer vocab um, question types. Okay, and then have them do the second one on their own just to confirm that they understand how to answer the vocab type um, questions. Okay, any questions? Okay, so that is, um, and then we have one more component left on the reading um, section. So um, they have answered the comprehension questions, um, meaning that they looked at all the minor details as well of the um, passage. So now you're going to use the passage to discuss. Uh, same thing with C2, um, you guys can pick and choose which paragraph you want to um, um, go over. Um, if you think that second one, like future systems, okay, will be more interesting. There is actually a lot of videos on um, YouTube showing the future concept of smart technology. So maybe you guys can use that. Um, uh, or if you want to um, show a video how smart technology is being used in classrooms, um, you guys can use that video. Um, you just want to make sure when you're showing a video, it's not too long and make sure that you guys test out the video so that it's um, suitable for the level and age, okay? And um, you want to definitely play and pause and ask them comprehension questions. Remember, whenever you're showing the video, you want to ask two types of questions, comprehension questions and discussion questions. So play, pause, play, pause, and then ask comprehension questions and prepare some discussion questions um, at the end. Um, so you're going to facilitate class discussion um, for about 15 minutes on this page. Okay, so now we're finished with the reading uh, section. We're going to um, do the listening section. Activate is exactly the same methodology as the reading activate. So I'm going to skip this page and we're going to move on to the comprehend component of the li uh, listening section. So same thing as reading, you're going to help students identify topic, thesis statement, main ideas, and major details, okay? How you're going to do that is you're going to play the audio right here, okay? And listen and write down uh, the topic. So they're going to listen for the repeated words, okay? So they're going to, actually the answer is home security system. They're going to hear home security system a uh, couple times actually at the end of the audio. Okay, in the beginning, it's like a introduction of the listening passage. Okay, and then they're going to listen again to this audio. It is okay to fast forward the audio to the middle um, because the thesis statement will appear at the end of the audio. Listen again and write down the thesis, listen for signal word or phrase. So you guys can click on this tick box. It gives you, um, examples of um, signal words. Uh, examples will be um, today I will, okay, or uh, let's talk about um, today we are going to. So um, the thesis statement of the listening audio, uh, listening passage will appear after these um, signal phrases. Okay, so you could play the audio and then um, have them identify these signal words and pause rewind a little bit, have them re-listen, and then type in the thesis statement, okay? And then now, this step, number three, I think is very important. Um, you're going to now have them predict, okay, the main ideas based on the thesis statement. Okay, how you're going to do that is same thing as the reading. Uh, you're going to elicit WH questions. So some home security systems can protect residents Okay, so what do you want to know more about this thesis statement? What do you want to ask? Um, hopefully they will say why or um, how or what home security systems, okay? So when you're prepping, you have to be uh, aware of what WH questions you want to elicit from students. You don't want to elicit when, you don't want to elicit uh, where, okay? Uh, the two WH question 
for this thesis statement you want to elicit from your students would be um, how or what home security systems because it says some home security systems so what home security systems so once you elicit you're going to have them predict so what do you think you guys can definitely do eyes on teachers so they're not looking at the bottom section ahead while you're talking about uh, the step three okay so you guys can do eyes on teacher and um, Oh, so what do you think, um, how do you think the main ideas will be organized if the question will be is, what home security systems? Ah, it will tell us security system number one, home security system number two. Ah, so it's making a list, okay? Um, so you're going to predict first what the main ideas would be and then jump into the dictation box right here, okay? So for this dictation box, um, in the segment guide, um, students will have um, earphones, okay? And then they're going to listen to it on their own to fill out the blanks. But I understand that not many students, um, not all students bring in their earphones. So in that case, you guys can play the audio to the whole class and play and pause and have them fill in the blanks. That is okay, okay? Uh, once they fill in the blanks, you're going to use SRS to uh, view their answers. However, don't just check uh, for the completion or the correction of the answers or the spelling. You're going to also have to explain the hierarchy of the um, ideas and also the logical connections between ideas. So this will be main idea one, okay? And this will be major detail one, two, three, and then we have minor detail one and two for major detail three, okay? So you do have to explain the hierarchy and logical connection between ideas. So I will show you an example. Do you guys have any questions? Are you guys okay? Okay, so um, they will listen and then they, have, they should have all these blanks filled out, okay? And then when you're going over their answers, you're going to um, click on one of the students' um, names. And home security system includes sophisticated surveillance technology, okay? Ah, remember, what was the question? Uh, what home security system? So does this answer that question? Yes, how? It's telling us one example of home security system, surveillance technology, okay? And then what else do you want to know about the surveillance technology? Okay, and you're going to go over the major details, one, two, and three. Basically, it's showing three different examples, okay? Video cameras and motion sensors, video intercom, and then surveillance, okay? So here, you're going to go over, okay, um, how these bullet points support the main idea number one right here by giving us three examples of surveillance technology, okay? And then, so you're going to um, ask interactive questions. You're not going to just say, oh, what's the first blank? What's the second blank, okay? But you're going to ask, oh, so what can computerized video cameras and motion sensors do? Alert you, what does it mean to alert? Okay, and when do they alert you? When they have uninvited guests. Oh, it's also linked to what? Their police station. So what do you think will happen? Okay, so you're going to definitely use interactive questions rather than just eliciting their answers and confirming their completion or correction of their answers. Okay, so remember hierarchy and also logical connection and have a little discussion with, their, uh, with your students. Okay, um, intercom, they, I think a lot of Korean homes have video intercom. So maybe you could talk about their intercoms and what it can do. Okay, so make sure that you guys um, have a small discussion at the end of each um, dictation box. Okay, so here we have the second main idea with one major detail, one may, uh, minor detail. And then this is basically like a conclusion. It wraps up uh, the, the re, uh, listening passage. So when you're prepping, um, prepare some um, leading questions um, and also interactive questions and also discussion questions. And you guys can also prepare an image or video, 
right here to use it as springboard for your discussion. So once Comprehend component is done, you're going to teach them how to take notes. You guys can definitely use the note-taking tips right here, um, abbreviations and symbols. I'm sure you guys have done this for A2 listening part. Um, so I strongly suggest that when you're prepping, you have your own model notes, okay? Uh, don't just walk into your classroom um, without a model note. I think it's important. And one tip to give is um, look ahead to these um, comprehension questions and scan component, okay? Um, the reason is because some of these questions, um, the details are not included in uh, the model notes given um, in the answer, okay? So I think it is important that you guys look ahead to the questions and what details students will need uh, to answer these questions and construct model notes based on that, okay? So you're going to play, pause, play, pause the audio, and then you're going to, um, you're going to spend a little more time in the beginning of the term, but you're going to give them less guidance and have them do it on their own. You're going to play, pause, play, pause more often, but you will definitely do that less as the term goes on. Okay, and you're going to um, take notes with your students and make sure you take notes with your students on the board so that the model note stays on the board. And then using the um, model notes um, or their notes, they're going to answer these comprehension questions. Okay. You could do the first one together and then have them do the rest um, on their own and use SRS to check their answers. And don't forget to have them justify their answers um, and show them where they found the answer. Okay, this KM knowledge map is very easy to forget, but I think this is very important at the end of reading and listening sections. So when you open this up, um, this is a topic, uh, reading main idea one and two. Okay, reading um, major details one and two, remember current system, future system, electronic. And then this, the purple boxes, um, these are from the listening passage. So this knowledge map shows the connection between the reading and the listening passage. I think that's very important that you guys show um, the students how the listening passage connects to uh, the reading passage. Okay, so don't forget to spend about five minutes um, doing this knowledge map. Okay, after that is um, collaborate, you're going to spend about 10 minutes. Uh, make sure that you give them, since you only have 10 minutes, I think it's important that you set um, the tone from the beginning um, and clearly explain the objective and expectations. And some students are very eager and they want to spend longer time. Um, so tell them not to worry too much as long as they're able to um, show uh, the one of the items, okay, and how they will improve using ambient intelligence, okay? Okay. And then we're going to move on to the writing and speaking, okay? So since this is lesson one, it will be writing um, section. Um, you're going to spend last um, 30, 40 minutes. Um, I know that writing and speaking section gets, um, they get neglected often uh, because you run out of time. So make sure that you watch um, the time and have good time management to spend at least 30 minutes on the writing and speaking section. Okay, so first is prime, you're, they're going to do the summary writing. So you're just gonna introduce uh, what summary writing is and the steps. Okay, writing is pretty simple. Um, you're just gonna follow the steps. Okay, so first selecting main points and step one, and you're going to go over these examples and have them. Um, so basically these ideas are from the listening passage and you could refresh their memory on the listening passage and have them um, decide if this sentence is a thesis statement, main idea, major detail or none. You have to remember why writing and speaking section is important is because um, they do a similar task for their eye learning. So for their eye learning, um, they're going to do same exact um, task, 
but they will summarize the reading passage rather than listening passage. They will take the same exact step for the reading passage. You could remind them uh, when they go home, when they're doing the uh, writing I learning task, um, they will be doing on the reading passage. Okay. And then step two is to paraphrase. So go over the examples and the steps on um, paraphrasing and then um, incorrectly and correctly go over and then have them choose correctly paraphrased sentence here. Okay, and then last is using transition words. So give them examples of different types of transition words, listing, time order, and then have them. Um, it's a drop down um, menu. So for students, when they click on it, they will have three options to choose from. Okay, you're going to use SRS and confirm their understanding and have them justify. And then this is the wrap up. This is the same thing as knowledge map. So you're just gonna go over one more time um, just to review today's lesson. Okay, you're going to spend about five minutes on this page. Okay, so we're finished. Um, do you guys have any questions?